Hello, hello! Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at maligayang Pasko. Alam ko pong busy po tayong lahat sa Paskong ito, ang, sa paghahanda, sa pagpamimili ng mga regalo, kung ano po ang ating, ano po saan pupunta, sa mga, sa bakasyong ito, kung ano po ang ihahanda sa Pasko. Pero wag po natin kalimutan kung sino ang rason kung ng Paskong ito ang nagbigay sa atin ng kaligtasan ang kapanganakan ng ating tagapagligtas na si Heso Kristo so bago natin ipagpatuloy ang ating devotion natin let us pray makapangyarihang ama mapagmahal kang lubos at binigyan mo kami ng libreng kaligtasan Patawarin mo po kami sa mga bagay na aming sinadyaman o hindi na nagawa. Linisan mo po ang aming puso at isipan. Salamat sa walang hanggang iyong pagmamahal at walang kapagurang pagpapatawad sa amin. Ikaw po ang maghari sa aming buhay magpakailanman. Amen. Alam ko pong sa pagpatak ng Setyembre ay atin nang nasisilayan ang Pasko. Minsan nga, sa kulturang ito, sa mundong ito, ang una nating nakikita sa Pasko ay yung si Santa Claus, mga, mga nakadisplay na Santa Claus. Kaya kung nakakarinig tayong mga kanta ng Christmas, minsan nga nalilito na ang mga bata dahil dito na kahit nga tayong mga Christians, na we keep on forgetting the things about God kung bakit nga ba may Christmas at na huhuk na tayo sa mga worldly na o kaya tong makamundong uh, practices kaya minsan yung mga bata rin mga young people nalilito rin sila kung ano ba ang sineselebrate natin sa Christmas ang pagbibigay ba ng regalo ang si Santa Claus ba at hindi natin na educate ang mga to na ang Christmas ay ang kapanganakan ng ating tagapagligtas na siya ating sineselebrate. Alam po nating lahat o kaya tayong mga Christians na ang December 25 ay hindi po yung eksaktong pagkapanganakan ni Yesu Kristo. But anyway, at least meron po na set na araw o kaya month kung saan natin i-celebrate ang kapanganakan ni Heso Kristo. Ang importante po ay ating sinaselebrate ang kapanganakan ng ating tagapagligtas na si Heso Kristo. Ngayong umaga po ay ati pong i-clear ang doubt ng bawat isa kung ang Christmas ba ay isang myth o isang miracle. So, basahin natin sa John 3.16. I know all of us na as Christians na memorize natin tong verse na to. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, bago natin pag-aralan ang verse na to, ng John 3.16, kung ano yung sinabi niya, puntan po natin yung sinabi ni God. Na God said, a virgin would give birth. And she did. That is Mary. And we believe that because those who witness the event recorded it. So, alam po natin yung nangyari sa Bethlehem and everything, and the, even the prophecy. Everything is recorded. Whoever witnessed this recorded it as well. It is written in all in the Bible. At lahat ng nilalaman ng Biblia ay katotohanan. So, now let's study John the John 3.16. So before that, ano ba yung miracle na binigay ni, ni Lord sa atin? A virgin will give birth. Second, His great love. 
to us. So let's study John 3.16. So what is the promise of God? It's eternal life which is in heaven. Sabi nga dito that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's what God's promise. Eternal life. And what is his command that we will follow to believe in him? To be in his family. To accept him as our Lord and Savior. To recognize his death. To acknowledge his death, the payment of our sins. So what is to believe? To follow him. To follow his will. To serve the Lord, our God. So what is his warning? eternal death perish yung sinabi natin ay nasabi dito whoever believes in him shall not perish but ito yung warning niya pag hindi tayo nagsumunod kay Kristo pag hindi tayo nagtiwala sa Panginoon at ginawa ang kanyang will naging hindi natin siya naging hari at tagapagligtas ng ating buhay we will perish we will suffer eternal death. So now, so what is the action that we're going to do? Today, we believe in Jesus Christ. We will accept Him as our Lord and Savior. Start a new life with Jesus Christ. Share the good news to others. So this is a miracle. If we only believe, we will be saved. So we don't need to work so hard to have that eternal life. Hindi natin kailangang magpagod, magpahirapan pang ating sarili para magkaroon tayo ng eternal life. All we need to do, that salvation that God had, had given us, is we need to develop it. Cultivate it. Make it grow. To maintain eternal life. Para ma-maintain natin yung eternal life na nasa atin. We have to develop it. To work it. Let, let it grow. To bear fruit. Also. So this is the purpose. Why we have Christmas. To give us eternal life. Imagine that gift that we have. That's eternal. Ang rason ng season na ito ay si Jesu Cristo. The miracle of believing gives us everlasting life. So let's personalize the John 3.16. Let's make this as our personal um, memory verse, parang ganito. So, For God so loved me that He gave His only Son that if I believe in Him, I will not perish but I will have everlasting life. Let us pray. O some marvelous Heavenly Father, you gave your only son to suffer and die for us. Oh, what an amazing love. You, O oh Lord, the reason in celebrating your birthday on earth. Your unfathomable love save us from eternal condemnation. We pray, O oh God, that you enlighten the minds of the people believing that your birth is a myth. They may know the truth and experience you experience your great love through the person you will use all your children will be a channel of your great love this miracle that you brought will be spread all over the world even to the unreachable corner of the world 
We love you, Lord. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Thank you.